Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is January 23rd of 2019. And uh, below you will see the URL to my YouTube channel page. <clears throat> I think very few people go to... Uh, somebody's YouTube channel page. You, I guess you usually get an announcement or something and you end up going to the video. Uh, but below is uh, where you can go directly to the page. But please do subscribe and please do click that bell. Um, let's see. I went to the Ham Fest Friday and Saturday of this last week, and I made a video about each. Uh, let me recap real fast. Uh, went Friday. I had a table. I sold um, very few items. Uh, Hempfest was interesting. I wish they had had more dealers. And as I mentioned in one of the videos, I just recently purchased uh, this Yezu. Only $135. I can't remember if I got... Let's see, I bought it from a ham dealer and in Texas, which was probably not a good idea because I paid Texas sales tax. I should have ordered from New Egg or someplace else, but not from Amazon because the price on Amazon is above $135. But nice radio. It's very easy to program this radio. Uh, you know, using the keyboard. Very easy. Plus, for $135, it, uh, I'll put a link to where you can get it for $135, or whatever the lowest price I can find. Or, but um, it's very easy to program, and it comes with free software for programming it, and it comes with a cable uh, with it that you can program it with. So basically everything you need. So it's dual band, 2 meters and 440. You have to have an amateur radio license to transmit. And uh, it also does fusion, which is Yezu's digital form, which is really interesting. But I was hoping there'd be uh, somebody there also that uh, some of these ham fests, I haven't been one in years and years, but there'll be somebody with a table set up or whatever, and you, I can't remember. If I, I don't think I've ever used the service, but you pay them 10 or 15 bucks, I think, and they program the radio for you with all the frequencies from the local area. and It would be so much easier than uh, doing it myself. But I'll just have to, I've already programmed some, you know, the local, some of the local repeaters that I can, I can hit. So I was a little disappointed that uh, they didn't have more dealers, but I think the way that works is, you know, there are a lot of amateur radio ham fest all across the United States and uh, that local clubs put on once a year, but there'll be multiple in this area here. And dealers can't really go to all of them. They just don't have the manpower or the time. And it costs them money, too, to go. Uh, and to take their wares, you know, their stuff, and set it up a booth, and they have to pay, you know, for the booth or whatever also. Like, I paid $35, uh, dollars, I think it was, for, you know, a table. Um, and that wasn't being a, a they probably charged the uh, actual dealers more. So, um, so the dealers really can't afford to go to all the ham fest, so I'm sure they pick the ones where they have gone before and where they made a lot of sales and where they came out making a little profit. So anyway, Saturday I went back. Uh, both days my daughter, Hillary, drove me because I don't have a car, and she stayed there with me and uh, you know, brought me back and brought back all the stuff I didn't sell. I didn't sell very much, and unfortunately, I wanted to get rid of a lot of stuff because uh, everything, I'm more or less combined, combined, 
I'm, uh, this is my room, and I just, I just do not have room for, whoops, for everything. It is just, well, you can see that stuff on a store, on the store floor, plus there's other, I just don't have, um, I, I just don't have the room. And what, as I mentioned before, what happens is um, when I want to find something, I have to dig through all this stuff, and there's stuff in the closet stacked on top, and I have to I throw it on my bed or whatever, and then I, with luck, I find what I'm looking for. Then I have to put everything back. So I was not successful, and uh, <laughs> I want to get rid of I sold a few items, but they didn't take up much room. Uh, as you can see, I'm back using two monitors, but I'm using my 4K monitor here. Um, let me remove this. I didn't mean to leave that up there that long. Uh, I'm using my 4K monitor, but I'm using it in... Uh, 1080p mode. I'm using over here for the first time my wide monitor. Both these are LG monitors. I'm using my wide LG monitor here. And I can get like two 1080p side by side here, but uh, oops. Maybe it's back over here. Uh, so that's the mode I'm in, using the same keyboard, the uh, G910, the uh, Logitech G910. I've been having some trouble. This is the G602, Logitech G602 mouse, and I've been having some trouble with it in the past. From the very beginning, I had some trouble uh, with it. Uh, occasionally and what I finally discovered you see this here it this comes with this and this is USB plug in on the back of the USB or the computer and then you can plug your dongle your chip from there into there and it makes it where and so it's now working okay it, you would think that it would be enough to be just right over here where I'm touching, that's where I had the the thing. But looks like it does need that need so it does need to be close. But it's working okay now. Um, let me entertain you. Whoops! I didn't mean to go full screen with that. I meant to go over here, and that's not the one I wanted to do that. Okay, let's do this here. Where's the edge? Can okay, we do this? Nope, full screen. Oh, okay, there I can get the edge of it here. We'll shrink this down a little bit. Oops. Shrink this down. Okay. Looks like now I'm laying, looks like I'm laying down here. Um, there we go. Okay, what else? I um, did not take the ham test at the ham fest that I went to. I have a tech, amateur radio technicians class. Oops. One of these days I'm going to get better organized, you know. And I have been studying a little bit for the general class ticket license. And I was hoping to take the uh, test 
at the ham fest, but I was taking it online. As you, I made a video where I, uh, one of the videos where you can see me uh, taking the practice exam. It I have failed it every time, so there was no point in me uh, in taking the test. Um, So I did not take the test. Um, as you know also too, I'm not allowed to review anything on uh, Amazon. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see, review or edit, let's see. A year ago, exactly about a year ago, I think uh, this is the 23rd of January, on uh, the 9th of January, we purchased a uh, ice maker, small ice maker, for about $100, I think. And it just died today, and uh, that we use a lot of ice. I use a lot. It, uh, right now, I'm, right now, there's no ice. <laughs> the ice maker broke today, uh, so it lasted a year. So I uh, turned around, and I'll show you when this video ends or whatever. Don't touch the mouse because I'll. Uh, show you a little of the one that broke and it lasted a year I remember uh, we were so happy to get it because we use a lot of ice and uh, my ex-wife's in a wheelchair she has trouble would have trouble reaching into the refrigerator into the very small uh, and also there would only hold like two ice cube trays and whatever so we were very happy to uh, to get that, and I think I remember saying at the time, you know, this is so great that uh, if it just lasts a year, it would be worth it. So it looks like <laughs> I was prophetic, prophetic, psychic, psychotic, something, I don't know. But it looked like it lasted about a year. Um, I probably should have purchased for this, uh, for a two-year protection plan. I could have got it for $9.23. Um, I didn't do it, though. Um, but this is the new one that we ordered. It's got good reviews. Uh, that kind of looks like a toilet or something, doesn't it? My ex-wife and my grown son share this apartment, share the expenses on it. Uh, not equally, but we share the expenses on it. Uh, well, I'm not sure about my uh, grown son, but my ex well, my ex-wife is very tight with money. We're both on limited in income, you know. Man, she's very tight with money, which is a good thing. I'm not that way. But even she was, uh, yeah. I said, well, I'll purchase another one so we can, it'll be delivered Friday. This is Wednesday, I think. Yes. Uh, and she was all for it. Yeah, purchase it. So we'll get it Friday. My uh, oldest daughter... Oh God, I can't. I know her birthday's in March, but I don't know the year. But she's a, I think fifty or approaching fifty. I'm seventy-seven or seventy-eight. I can't remember, but I've got a birthday in March. Um, my oldest daughter and her her husband. Uh, they both had their uh, DNA done. A while back and uh, 
they ordered uh, two DNA kits, one for me and uh, one for my ex-wife. And they should have been delivered a week or two ago. But I don't, somehow, I don't know, they got lost and they, coming, they were coming FedEx. Uh, one thing, my uh, daughter LaDonna was sick with the, well, she, took the, she got a flu shot. She was sick for a week or so with something. And also she travels for her uh, union. And, uh, and she works, she has a lot of work to do. And she has an important job with the union. So she did not send me the tracking number If for that. If she had sent me the tracking number, I would have known that something went haywire with the thing. There was, it was, came FedEx, should have been like FedEx in a couple of days here, and they didn't bring it to the door. They, uh, in this apartment complex, a lot of times what they do is take it to the office and leave it there. Somehow it ended up a few blocks away at, one of these new at a Walgreens where they have this new situation where they will leave packages if you request it, you know, at, uh, in this case, the Walgreens, and you can pick it up there. Uh, we haven't had anybody stealing packages around here, at least in this apartment complex here. It's a gated one. Um, but for some reason, I went to Walmart, and we had no idea it was there. And in fact, we picked up prescriptions today. We picked up prescriptions a couple of days ago, and uh, it got sent back. But now it's, I called the FedEx number, and it's going to be being re redirected. I think it was already being redirected, and it should be here Friday with the two DNA kits. So I'm looking forward to it. My oldest daughter had hers done and of course her husband. And uh, so now my ex-wife and I will have ours done. Uh, be interesting to see. And I'll, you can be sure that I'll be showing it to you and letting you, uh, talking about it. Um, Of course, I know. Of course, I know that my family, the Keegans, came from County Cork in Ireland, and I know that the Slotmans came from Germany, and I believe they came. And I'm not going to say this correctly. I guess it's a state in Germany, Alalassane, something like that. Uh, as an example. Uh, and I forget the dates. I have them written. I have a, we have a little family history. Uh, my great grandfather, um, or maybe it was great great grandfather. Don't know. Uh, he was in St. Louis, Missouri, and he was a handyman, a carpenter, uh, something like that. And he went door to door. To homes if did they need any work done carpentry work or whatever and uh, he went to a house and knocked on the door and the maid came and he asked if they had any work that needed to be done well it turned out that uh, you know he was from Germany German accent maybe he spoken probably maybe he spoke since the maid was she also came from the same state in Germany, and uh, they ended up getting married. So, um, see how I get sidetracked? Um, was that because of the ice machine that I got off, off on that tangent? Uh, what else is going on? I have my uh, Roku small TV set here. My ex-wife has a big 4K uh, in the uh, dining room. 
and that's where her bed is in the dining room, and then she has a large 4K uh, TV set on 24-7. <laughs> and uh, she... Uh, and she watches a lot of television. Um, oh, that's what I just noticed. There was a news that I was going to... I thought I'd mention that to you since I just happened to notice that... Uh, where did I see that? Here, Hulu. You know, I pay for Amazon Prime. I pay for Netflix, Hulu, and I don't know what else. Uh, uh, Amazon just raised their price, one dollar or two dollars on the plans. Probably two dollars on, because I have the four K plan. And. Uh, we use uh, Amazon Prime a lot, and for the movies and shows, and we use uh, Netflix a lot. Don't use Hulu that much for some reason, but um, Amazon raised the price a dollar or two, and I thought, um, eh, okay, you know that's that's not that much. But then I saw a a uh, thing on some site that says, and I forget what the percentage was now, it was like uh, Amazon raised their prices, let's say 26% or something, and I'm I'm going, 26%? I thought it was a dollar or two, and then I realized, oh, wait a minute, yeah, you know, you pay each month and 12 months, and that, that kind of gives you a little idea of uh, how statistics and numbers and things can be... Uh, can be twisted. Um, where is my cell phone? I see also, uh, well, it was, oh, that was one of, that was one of, Hulu, this is very smart, I very smart of Hulu, is they have lowered their price. Let's see, Hulu has dropped the price of its cheapest, pa cheapest package by $2.00 just a week after their competitor, Netflix, raised raised the prices. And uh, very smart of them. Hulu's basic plan, which includes ads, will cost $6 per month starting February 26. So I got a, I have a feeling that, uh, yeah, see, see I have, the price of its on-demand plan without ads will remain $12, so. I'm not getting, you know, any money off, but uh, very smart of Hulu to uh, to do that. Um, let's see, where is Maybe I closed that or something. Um, again, I want to mention to you, uh, multiple people shot in a hostage situation at Sun Crest. SunTrust Bank in Florida. If you have an, and, let's say, Android, you could do it on your regular computer, too, by going to the um, Broadcastivity, or what is it called? Well, anyway, let's do the cell phone. Can you see? Whoops. See the one there in red? Uh, right up here, the little red thing. Can you see that? It says, okay. There we go. This is an app you can get for free. Now, I do pay a small amount of money. I have for years and years. Now, I'm looking at global feeds, feeds near my current location, feeds by Metro, feeds with alerts, uh, top 25, so I think we'll find it there. Okay, this is the ones with the most traffic. Chicago is always at the top. Brooklyn is next. Uh, Brown County, okay, that's in Wisconsin. Uh... I'm looking for Florida because this shooting here took place in Florida, and I do not see it. So they may be using, yeah, they're not listed as the, uh, okay. A lot of these you cannot pick up because the frequencies are coded, encoded, or whatever. Police departments for, you know, terrorism reasons, all that kind of stuff, they're now going to encoded I think that's a mistake as I, I won't tell you that story before but a uh, Radio Shack 4 channel 
crystal controlled scanner saved my life one time. I would have stepped in front of a fleeing vehicle if I had not heard the call on the radio and other things. I think that, yeah, sure, if you have a detective channel, if you have a narcotics channel, which they all do, and all that type of stuff, yeah, encode that. But I think the general calls going out, bank robbery, all this type of stuff, I think that should be uh, somebody can know if you need to get off the, get out of the middle of the road, you know, or if you're in a housing complex or something or rather, um, uh, you would, uh, I, I just think that it's a bad idea to think that everything has to be top secret and coded, but I, uh, not just, well, not just here, but here and in other places, I've uh, talked to some police officers and, oh, they're convinced, oh, no, you know, the bad guys are monitoring the uh, frequencies and they're going to know where we are and all that type of stuff. And I, I think they're mistaken. I think if you have bad guy, you know, well, I didn't want to get into that. I've, I've even talked about that before, uh, how I don't think that, uh, yes, you know, in code for sure, your detective channels, because they're maybe talking about following a vehicle and uh, giving, you know, whatever, encode those. Encode your narcotics officers when they're talking on that channel. But I think, general, the calls should go out to the public. But uh, all the police officers that I've talked to look at me when I say that, that they shouldn't. I, they look at me like, uh, like I am deranged. I probably am deranged, but I didn't know it showed by, uh, that's, uh, let me see, I think I need to lower this one down a little bit, don't I? You don't want to see my bald head. I don't even want to see my bald head. Okay, tighten that a little bit. Okay, let's see, I showed you the, um, oh, that's a who I didn't show you. I showed you the ice maker we're going to be getting. I'm going to end this, except uh, there'll be a little bit of to look at the old ice maker that's broken in there. And so, don't touch the mouse, stick around for that. And uh, thank you very much for watching the video. Please subscribe, I'd like to see the, I think we're almost to 2,700 subscribers. I'd like to hit 3,000 subscribers, so. Uh, thank you very much. So this is uh, January 23rd, 2019, and Amazon does not let me review. I re made hundreds and hundreds of reviews for them. They don't let me make reviews anymore. I guess I've been a bad boy. Uh, we've had this about a year. I think January 7th of last year we bought it. We love it. It's so easy. Our refrigerator doesn't make, you know, ice cubes. It has it. You can put, you know, trays in the freezer. But uh, as you see, we have no ice. All this thing is doing is clicking. And there's uh, back in the corner, like where the thing moves, some stain or something of oil or th something, I think. So this thing has died. We're getting ready to order a new one thing lasted a year. I don't think I bought a uh, policy for it, but we're going to order a new one. But since, uh, since Amazon doesn't let me review anything, this is my only way of letting you know that uh, but ice is so important to us here that uh, I guess we're willing to pay about a hundred dollars a year for an ice machine. So getting ready to order one. Oh, there you go. And you can hear the knocking at the door. Uh, 
that's Chinese food being delivered. So I'm going to stop this and have some Chinese food. My son is paying for it. So, free Chinese food. Thanks very much for watching.